Hello guys, it's the Centralized Dave with another uh, update on the markets and also on my portfolio. Um, the last in my last FaceTime uh, series video. Uh, if you want to see like the history of my call and which is also like my track record, just uh, tune in the playlist FaceTime. And there I basically just make my calls and um, uh, you can discover if you go through them that they have been ever since I started making them since like uh, November 2022 where I started with video uh, crypto screaming by. Um, they have been reasonably good, although I also had some bad calls, of course. Um, and uh, at the moment, I have to say that I feel like I'm having one because these days are indeed, from the crypto perspective, shitty for me, like shitty days. Holy shit, like guys, like my portfolio's value, it's unrealized value because uh, um, I stayed all in. I didn't scale down on this uh, recent uh, search and I stayed all in because I told you I would. And I told you I would in February or was it March? I told you I would because the last time when I scaled down with intention to come back in, uh, I, I had troubles coming back in because the market was going too fast in November when I scaled down and I couldn't really come back in for the same prices. Uh, etc. And uh, then I uh, accomplished it in uh, in January when I scaled down again. Then I was able to come back down, uh, come back with uh, with cheaper, but still it was getting problematic. So I decided that better just wait out any kind of uh, uh, dumps or crashes. However, honestly, I'm regretting it already. <laughs> I'm regretting that the choice to st to stay all in and not scale down because. I can see again, like, uh, you know, like they, the patterns can be broken. Like right now we're having the Israeli-Iran situation because the Israel bombed their embassy, which is, which is a war act. So when the people are saying that this is going to just fly off, uh, they have been underestimating uh, the situation and they are underestimating it likely because they're hodlers, because they don't want to scale down or sell. So they're going to want to this situation to fly to fly to fly uh, past soon uh, they want that that outcome but that outcome is not forgiven uh, what Israel did was a war act now uh, Iran has retaliated there's gonna be some uh, now uh, probably some diplomatic actions taken how, how who knows exactly how it's going to be play out but I don't underestimate the situation at all and I do regret staying all in um, also a uh, bad call that I probably had. Um, it's, it seems very likely that this is gonna be bad call is my spring alt season call. I've been telling you about spring alt season since January uh, and I've been confirming it like throughout February, etc. And <sighs> it seems like it's gonna be a bad call because obviously uh, the, the alts have just been liquidated. There have been wave of liquidations also yesterday, some alts are around 50%, some alts are more, uh, some less, but still uh, there were massive, massive liquidations. And past such liquidations, it is almost impossible now for us to just come back up immediately. There is now going to be likely some kind of a standstill, even depressive standstill, which, however, is, is going to be great for sentiment. So uh, there is definitely silver lining to all this. So I see that, but uh, it doesn't change the fact that my spring alt season call is likely going to be proven wrong, even though alt season ends in, uh, in at the end of June. So it's still some time and like, you know, who knows what's going to be happening in June. Actually, um, actually June can, uh, can be the month where we gain, when we uh, regain the traction and regain the strength. And it also seems that way, uh, also from multiple perspective, um, also. Um, so uh, another thing about the alt season is that I've been, you know, watching all the time. Or also recently, I've been watching for the signs of alt season, and the big, the biggest uh, differentiator of what alt season even means uh, is when the dominance goes down. When the dominance goes down and the Ethereum goes up on Bitcoin contract. 
but uh, it hasn't happened. But there were other signs that happened, other signs that also uh, pretty much marked the alt season. There was Doge was strong, Maker doubled, MKR, and when Maker doubles, it means people are leveraging on DeFi because Maker is being uh, used to, to borrow Ethereum. Um, 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 uh, basically to leverage. Uh, also, um, we had other signs such as um, Bitcoin Cash doubling. Bitcoin Cash is also uh, an, an alt that uh, doubles like it did recently at the end of the alt season. Um, so I was worried already. I was big, big worried that I'm gonna be wrong. But uh, I refused to believe until I didn't see it like uh, yesterday and two days ago. And now my, ho my whole personal portfolio took a hit. The value took it like 35% in only a few days. 35%, 35. So uh, yeah, pretty disgusting. And, and, and it's a carnage, I would say. It's a, I would compare these liquidations. I would compare it to a May 2021 where we also had the uh, Bitcoin first making new all-time highs a month prior. Month prior today is March, okay? That's month prior. Uh, and then Bitcoin corrected and then retested the all-time highs, which is exactly what happened today, I mean, this, this month as well. And in the meanwhile of the retesting of the all-time high, uh, there was an alt season. Uh, in 2021, it was a clear alt season because Ethereum doubled, Cardano doubled, Maker doubled, Bitcoin Cash doubled. There were so many. Uh, Doge doubled. But this time there was a big, big, big difference that uh, Ethereum didn't. Ethereum was weak. Uh, and that confused me. And uh, uh, also, but I can't be so harsh on myself not being, not figuring this out like like faster because um, this hasn't really happened yet, okay? So uh, I have to also say that my reasoning, even though I didn't win this time, uh, I can't blame myself for this reasoning. Um, and uh, I think that my reasoning was sound. Uh, however, it does look like a uh, weird alt season played out weeks ago, actually, over the past weeks. And now we have the liquidations because also the alt season is being, uh, is ends usually with liquidations. That's another sign of the alt season that just played out. These liquidations that we see. Um, so um, I think that, um, that yeah, um, I've just missed scaling down at the alt season and that is a big pain. That is a big pain and also a failure for my part, I would say. Um, and also, you know, in today's environment where um, uh, it's coming more and more obvious to me that uh, some kind of a recession is going to break the crypto cycles, uh, it is important to play it actually, uh, yeah, to, to not do um, reckless moves. <laughs> um, or actually, yes, if you want to earn, like, you need to be, somebody's looking at me because I'm at work, you know. Um, I, if you want to earn, like, yes, you need to be able to come all in and hodl and not sell too soon. Yeah, if you want to be a good investor, I obviously have to. But it's also at the same time, like alt seasons, alt seasons are clear sell points. Like uh, not to scale down during alt season uh, always uh, bites, actually bites always uh, harms the portfolio and, and sometimes it's a disaster because also the total cycles usually end with an alt season uh, as well. So also there is that. Uh, the last thing that I want to mention, uh, I'm not sure if I'm not gonna have a company uh, because sometimes someone is thinking to come this, come here. Okay, anyway, the last thing that um, uh, I want to mention is the timing because the timing um, is a puzzle, another puzzle to me. Uh, I've been a couple of months ago in February, I've been making a video for you um, about the timing, uh, saying that uh, uh, it's gonna happen, we will pick out the cycle sooner than everybody expects. 
And back then, uh, people were still kind of expecting the next year. They were still saying like, yeah, like the, I don't know, four year cycle, whatever. Next year, like 2025, end of 2025, yes. Uh, and, but uh, I noticed that this is changed. I, this is changed now. And now people have um, realized that they're wrong. And now they're expecting end of this year. There is now coming a consensus that the end of this year will be the end of the cycle. And that is a big red flag to me when it comes to timing. And that's why I want to close this video uh, with a thought that uh, uh, it's gonna probably happen faster than that. If that's gonna be the consensus, if the consensus will be also now when we had the liquidations, I do expect it's, it's most likely that we are gonna stay low we're going to stay low for a month at least. And during this month, we're going to see what it, what it does with sentiment, with how people will be shorting, etc. And also what, what will they be saying about the timing there? But if it indeed gets confirmed that it's uh, that the, the people believe the end of this year as the end of the cycle, then I'm going to have to be uh, saying that uh, it's going to be shockingly sooner than that way sooner than anybody expects. So I want to close this. Uh, I want this to be the closing thought. So let me know what you think and I'll keep you updated.